Uh, Video Savant says, I don't know how many of Yellow Flash's subscribers are comic fans, and he doesn't have the kind of audience that typically backs campaigns. I think EJ soured the market on culture war trophies. Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard to hard to know uh, because, uh, you know, those guys specifically aim for, um, I don't know, pop, pop stuff, pop culture. Um, Johnny Depp, you know, are Johnny Depp fans? Are they comic book fans? So... Uh, I think in if EJ soured the market on culture war trophies on culture war trophies too. What are the culture war trophies? Um, but Eric July has an audience, and it might be we don't know what the overlap is between Eric July's audience and Yellow Flash's audience. You know, what is that? Who knows? Uh, but I think he has the uh, every shot in the world to hit two million. If I saw him number three to three point two million dollars, I think Yellow Flash. Yellow Flash isn't like a uh, promoter, you know. I, I don't think he's really worked or flexed that promoting muscle uh, very much in his life. So I don't know. I don't know if he's going to be able to motivate people. I think Eric July can motivate people, but is Eric, how heavy of a push is Eric July going to do? I believe Eric July is going to give it a good, sturdy push because it's, in my mind, it, it's, and probably in his mind, it's going to be like the flagship for Rick, Rip Ascend. He's going to want to show people that he can make people money, and there a lot of people are going to go over there. Hmm. Matt Wilson says, I don't see it, John. Where are you getting these numbers? I'm um, getting them because ISOM did 3.2 million. Uh, Eric July has 500,000 subscribers, does 3.2 million. Yellow Flash has right around 500,000 subscribers. If all things are equal, and they're not, then Yellow Flash would get $3.2 million. But uh, Yellow Flash is not a big promoter of comics or anything. I, I mean, he doesn't really sell anything. I don't know. So he's good at he, what, he, what he does, chase algorithms. He doesn't have that salesman thing. And that could be a decline. That could cause a decline of over a million dollars in sales. It might not. It might, with their powers combined, they could also form fucking... Uh, you know, I don't know, Captain Planet, and that book could do over $3 million or over $3.2 million. So that's it. Eric July has a buying audience, primed to buy, and uh, Yellow Flash's audience is not necessarily primed to buy. It doesn't mean that they won't buy. They could buy in mass. I don't know because I don't know who they are. I haven't checked up their skirts. I don't know what they're doing. I don't, I don't know what we're dealing with. So that's where the numbers are. I'd say Yell Flash is very equivalent to Eric July, but he doesn't have that marketing muscle. He doesn't. Have, and he doesn't know how to flex and uh, get people to buy. Maybe everybody's sitting there ready to buy. Maybe Yellow Flash's audience has just been waiting for the right thing. Or they're Eric's audience, and they've already been buying over there for Eric. So who knows? Not me. We we will all know when this campaign launches, and then we start seeing some actual uh, facts. Right now, we can just speculate. And my speculation is that uh, he'll probably do $2 million plus. And I think that's a fair amount to say. And, I, and that's not a, I, I wouldn't think that anyone would see that as a snub, but maybe some people are like, oh, John's trying to snub. I think $2 million, guys, I only make 250 grand on mine. So $2 million isn't anything to laugh at. So uh, Joe Schmo says total snub. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, it's only a snub in that uh, Yellow Flash, he's not a salesman. You know, I, I think uh, Ethan is a good salesman. Eric July is a good salesman. These guys know how to sell. Uh, Yell Flash. <laughs> uh, you see the difference? 
Eric July gets out there, makes videos. Love him or not, he gets out there, he makes videos. Uh, he's talking directly to the people. He's pushing. He's pushing. Yellow Flash, no one even knows what he looks like. <laughs> it's a different ball game, guys. There's a lot of variables. Uh, but also keep in mind, this is a number one issue. Uh, number ones, I expect, do well. Uh, even the decline in sales from ISOM, uh, I expected it because that's the general way comic books work. Like, issue number ones, speculator market comes in. People want to be sure they get as many number ones as possible just in case they can uh, flip it five years, 10 years, 20 years down the road. Number ones usually do really good. Then you get to the number twos, and then the speculators cut their orders down. So then you get into number two doing less. And uh, I believe my prediction for number two was two something million orders, you know, and that again, that wasn't meant as a slight. I don't see that as everything falling apart. I see ISO number one is doing as well as it did because it's ISO number one. It's the maximum amount of promotion for a number one issue. A lot of hype, a lot of speculation. Number ones do great. And after that, generally, sales go down. So, yeah, so I said 2 million something is where I predicted. And I think that's where it landed. I also said uh, the next ISOM. Ethan said ISOM was going to do less than a million. The next ISOM 3, I guess, would do less than a million. I said I didn't see that. I see it making still over a million. And now I believe Ethan is now saying uh, he's, he's changed his mind to where it's doing over a million. So, and I think that's fair. So, uh, we, you know, look, these things may not have stabilized like whatever the 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 true number for eric july's market is when you take out speculators for number one you know i don't know maybe it's uh nine hundred thousand, and that or uh yeah and that ain't bad nine hundred thousand dollars not <laughs> backers yeah that that might be more more where he kind of settles at right around a million dollars so, uh, and anything under that, uh, then I would say, hey, there might be a concern, you know, or lack of excitement, anything doing less, less than a million, a number one, like these other books that went out, I think one of them did less than a million. I don't know if it's the uh, Good Ying, was it Good Ying? So one of these books uh, didn't do exceptionally well. So that's like a red flag. If I was at Rip Reverse, I'd say, oof, we don't want... Well, anything doing under a mill. Yeah, it was a good ying. Yeah. Good ying, Lord Finatra. Good, good nig. Oh, my God. <laughs> Finatra, how dare you? So, yeah. Anyway, so I expect uh, Yellow Flash's book to do over $2 million, $2 million or better. Uh, the market will determine, the market will find it. And then I expect if there is a second issue, because again, writing that check for 300 grand is going to hurt. Um, but if there's a second issue with John Dillard on board, then I expect the sales to take a drop, you know, by, you know, nearly a million. And that's not a slight. That's not a snub. That's the natural progression of things. Uh, F.E. Sunny says, two million or better. John, what are you smoking? Um... Just the information that I have, guys. Look, if it does less than two million, that that's probably I don't know. That's a concern. Uh, coach says, or job of the coach says, I'm scared. Yeah, I'm scared if it did less than two million. I guess. I think everybody would be scared. <laughs> I think I think every Yell Flash wants to do comics. Like that's what he wants. Like he told me, I don't know if that was uh, on the show or what, but when we were still chit chatting, he told me he would rather just be doing comics than uh, YouTubing. Like he'd rather YouTubing take a back seat so that he could just do comics full time. So if if his uh, book comes out, if it does less than a million, whew, whew, those dreams are crumbling. 
Uh, Moon Goon says there's no way the retard is getting $2 million. What do you guys think he's going to get? Everyone put your numbers in. Let's see uh, what everyone's predicting for Yellow Flash. Everybody, give me your numbers. Lay it down. Put your balls on the table. Let's see your numbers. Then we can come back here and we can laugh when uh, all these numbers come out and they're right or wrong. 300? 350,000? Guys. <laughs> Holy shit. On, let me look at some of these. Uh, we got Alex, Alec Campbell says 400,000. Uh, so 400,000 with 500,000 subscribers, guys. Like, again, it's like a numbers game, it's a numbers game. So, one to be five percent of 500,000 subscribers. Is twenty five thousand? Okay, guys, twenty five thousand backers potentially. Twenty five thousand backers. Five percent of your subscribers. If only five percent of your subscribers backed, that's twenty five thousand backers. Uh, let me just take that down to. Let's take that down to. I don't know. Um, uh, if we took that down to 20, let's say 20,000, 20,000 people decided to buy a book, or maybe it's less than that, but they're backing twice. It's a number one, whatever the case may be. But let's say your total backers is $20,000. If you go 20, you guys can do this at home too. 20, one, two, three, 20,000 times 25, the average price of a comic is $500,000. That's not counting the shipping amount. I don't know what their shipping amounts are. Let's say uh, 20,000 people back times, let's just say, let's say it's going to be, let's say 10 domestic and 25-ish uh, international uh Spread that out. Let's say, let's say fifteen dollars for shipping on average. So twenty thousand times uh, twenty five thirty five. So that'd be forty dollars equals eight hundred thousand dollars. Eight hundred thousand dollars. That's without any specials. That's without any extras. That's without variant covers. Uh, his book is going to have two or three variant covers on it. Almost every heavy Merlin is the biggest bid I've seen scrolling down here. Nine hundred and sixty thousand. Oh wait, uh, uh, Joe Schmo said one point three million. Okay, thank you, Joe Schmo. Thank you for at least being in the ballpark. All right, let's see if anybody else. Uh, Heavy Merlin at 960. Photo Viper says 1.6. Uh, Leo Schlitt <laughs> says zero because it's never coming out. Uh, Java thinks it's going to make me shake in my boots. <laughs> yeah, dude, if he, yeah, I would be scared if it was like under a million dollars. Failure. And so would Flash. Flash would be scared if it was under a million dollars. Uh, Screaming Beagle says a hundred million dollars. Uh, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, uh, subs can be bought. How many viewers of his live streams? Um, I don't know, two thousand. Not bad. I think it's better than uh, Eric July's live streams, aren't they? Uh, Eric July does have the benefit of being able to get onto what Nerd Rotic Friday Night Tights every now and then. Uh, DJ Close is 850K. Scully says 68K. Richard Gradwell, 150K. Uh, Mark Trafford says, I hope 2 million for Dillard's sake, depending on how much it costs, 25 plus uh, or 35. Yeah. Well, it's going to be 20, presumably 25 for the book at least, uh, but there's also going to be a shipping charge in there. Um, so <clears throat> all that adds into that. I, I, unless Ripiverse, they might do it differently. Maybe they don't add the shipping charge. I don't know. 
uh, into their full amount. I don't know how they handle that. Uh, 12,000 backers. Is that is that what, uh, what's his name, uh, Eric July is getting? How many did he get on ISOM number one? Yeah, I think that'd be a good good question. How many backers on ISOM number one, guys? Throw in a number for me. Uh, Four thousand dollars for the cover sounds cheap. Now it was look, it's not cheap, guys, but it was definitely a good amount, uh, an affordable amount for Yell Flash uh, to pay, for sure. And again, you guys have to keep in mind when when artists are quoting people, you, an independent person or uh, or just a fan, you're gonna get a different rate than what I'm gonna charge fucking Disney. You know what I mean? Like it, it's just gonna be fucking different, man. You go by what you believe your your client can afford. Otherwise, you're gonna you're gonna you're gonna be too high priced to get these uh, smaller guys, um, which you need. Um, but when you have the opportunity to get a fair, good fucking rate for your work, four thousand isn't crazy. If Jim Lee went up to fuck, if if Yell Flash went to Jim Lee. And he asked Jim Lee, hey, Jim, um, how much for a cover? And if he said eight grand, Flash would probably have paid it. Been like, oh, okay, eight grand for a Jim Lee cover? Fuck yeah, I got eight grand. I'll do that. I'll put that on my fucking book. And I'll sell that motherfucker for what? hundred bucks a copy? Isn't that what uh, Eric Lai did? Yeah. Most people, I would say, almost everybody in here, believes uh this book is not making a million dollars 60,000 backers is that how many people backed Eric July holy shit how does that math add up let's see um what that didn't that book go for 35 is that what it was um let's see uh 60, 1, 2, 3 times 35 equals, that's 2.1 million. So that, okay. Um, but when you factor in whatever, add-ons, extras, doubles, I don't know, whatever else was going into those orders to push it up to, uh, or shipping. Yeah, shipping was probably, God, because that have been almost a million dollars in shipping. <laughs> 60, 1, 2, 3, 60,000 times, let's say 35, um, we'll add 15 in there, 35, 45, 50 equals, oh, that's 3 million. Yeah, that might not be too far off. 60,000 times uh, $50 per purchase. That's averaging domestic and international. Right in the ballpark. Three million. God damn. But that makes sense. So 20,000 for, what was it? 20,000 times uh, 50 equals a million dollars. So if Yellow Flash charges that book at 35 bucks like uh like Eric did, then yeah, that's the average. You need 20,000 backers to make a million dollars. Uh but Johnny is advertising to the blaze. I don't know what that means, guys, but I can tell you that generally advertising doesn't mean jack shit. It, it's, it really is, and we talked about this a lot in the early years, where it really is about your ability to go out there and talk to people every day and push. You can, you can run an ad, um, but it's the ability to talk to people uh, and convince people to buy. That's why the Ben Shapiro thing didn't amount to jack shit for um, Lone Star. Uh, I think also he had a shout out from Donald Trump Jr. or something, you know. It doesn't mean shit if there's no if there's no push, if there's no excitement from that end. If Donald Trump Jr. or Ben Shapiro were like huge comic book fans and they couldn't shut up about comics, uh, and and you know, and and then now they're talking about Lone Star, maybe it makes a dent. 
Um, it actually would make a dent. I, I believe it would if they couldn't shut up about it, if they're talking about it every day. So I don't know to what extent an ad on the blaze or, or promoting on the blaze is, but if you aren't out there pushing it all the time, you know. But uh, yeah, even more so. Um, so for Yell Flash to pull out two million plus, he would need forty. What are he'd need about forty thousand people backing. That's fifty bucks each, and obviously you have different tiers at different levels and whatnot. But to be on that on par with Eric July, he'd need about forty grand. 40,000, or I'm sorry, 40,000 backers. FB Sunny says, yeah, if y'all trash charges high, he could make 1 million plus. Well, I, he's going to charge high. I mean, he's probably going to have, a, I don't know, a 25 or maybe a $35 entry fee. Your, your basic book, 35 bucks. So if he does that, that's going to help. But also there's going to be tiers just like we do with like blood bag, you know, or your hundred dollar tier or a $200 tier. And there's a plenty of people out there that are willing to go out there and back at those higher levels. Uh, 40,000 backers would be a fee. Yeah. But so would, so would 60,000 backers guys. Like these are big numbers, but that's what it took for Eric July to hit 3.2 million, 60,000 backers. According to my fact checkers in the chat, 60,000 backers. So if, if, if it's basically 20,000 per million. 20,000 backers per million. So, yeah, anyways, uh, yeah, it could be anything, guys. I I do not expect it to be under a million dollars or under a million dollars. If it was under a million dollars, I'd say it's probably a disaster. It's still good, it's still good, but Yell Flash should be able to compete. He should be able to compete. He does a, a weekly live stream, pulls in a thousand, two thousand people on it, sometimes more. Uh, Moon Goose said maybe if he hadn't turned on CG, he'd get a million with EBS promoting it. Uh, he'd do better. You know, like that's what I that's what I was saying before. I'm like, you know, he would have just been better to just shut his mouth and uh, benefit from uh, a happy and healthy comic skate audience is, is, along with Eric July. But, uh, you know, for whatever reason, Yell Flash felt he had to take a side. Uh, maybe he thought by taking a side that that would increase his chances of hitting, you know, over a million dollars or two million or three million dollars. You see someone making $3 million, guys. All of a sudden, $300,000 doesn't look like much. <laughs> he might have been happy with $300,000. But then you see someone making $3.2 million. And now, all of a sudden, that don't look like much. 12-ish Gooding. Is that the backers? How many people backed Gooding? Let me look. Good... Ying comic. Uh, nothing. Oh, no. Rip a verse. Oh, I spelt it wrong. It's just Y N G. Uh, how do you see the sales numbers on Rip a verse? Um, hmm. Uh, Sean for two bucks says Chad had one, 1 million subs, but only did 700k. I don't know anything about uh Chad adversity, so it becomes a little bit more difficult for me to kind of speculate on where that might go. Um, but I'm telling you guys, they are going to market it as uh Ripperverse versus uh either Ethan or Ethan and CG. <laughs> So I don't know if uh, Shad, I don't know what that guy's like. I don't know uh, if he was um, monetizing his haters. Uh, we know Eric July will monetize his haters. Uh, Yell Flash, maybe. I don't know. 
Oh, he removed the sales from his site? Huh. No transparency on Ripperverse like he promised. There's no old campaign or how? I don't know how they do it over there. I don't know. Yeah, good point, Gordo. He said uh, Shad also had some Miller as an artist. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know anything about the Shadowverse. I know that uh, Yo Flash has been around here from day one at CG. Uh, he removed the sales from his site. That's interesting. Yeah, but it, it's just. Uh, hold on, I'll, I'll show you. Like, I don't think it's nefarious, but um, I guess when the campaign. Well, it's not really a campaign. What are when the campaign? Whatever the fuck they call it when the campaign is over. Uh, I guess they just reset to a normal sales page. But I can't see. Can't see. I'm just on with information. Look at how they do this. Holy information overkill. Mike Barron letter. Yeah. Yep. Anywho, it's not on there. Yeah. Some people, I don't know. Maybe that's some people are seeing that as nefarious. I I don't. Um, but uh, just for my ease of access, I'd like to be able to see what the numbers were. But yeah, guys, uh, going down after your first issue is not a fucking. Uh, it's not a sign of defeat. I think it's the normal way of things to go. Uh, Isom 1 to Isom 2. Yawra 1. They haven't done a Yawra 2, but I don't expect Yawra 2 to do as well. Um, what else? Good Ying. I don't even know if they're going to do another. If that didn't do a million, I don't even know if they're going to do another one. Or what, what about Alpha Chord? Was that a million dollar one? Uh, Douglas Dauntless says two thirds of uh, EJ backers never returned. Uh, maybe or everybody bought uh, multiple times. You know, so the same people were there. Like maybe he, maybe he's good for twenty thousand people. Uh, but these twenty thousand people, when they're motivated, back multiple times. Alpha Core did 1.4 million, said Joe Schmo. Thank you, Joe Schmo. Yeah. So, you know, the next Alpha Core might do, I don't know, less than a million, I would say, almost certainly. Almost certainly it would do less than a million. That's not a snub, guys. That's just the way things are going to go. Uh, so, Alpha Core, in my mind, is probably on the chopping block. Good Ying, it probably would already be cut. At this point, I would start looking at what my stronger things are and uh, refocus some of my efforts there, uh, which would be ISOM for sure. Um, maybe Yaura. Yaura has been talked about enough um, over the last year. It's a little bit in the, in the uh, community zeitgeist. Clip, clip and snip snip.